the water quality prediction project so in the last video that is the first video we have seen about the water quality prediction and why it is the most important to consume water as a clean water and that should be a free of the ph also we could not take ph that is really less and we will see the, there are so many features on the basic of that feature it depends upon what quality of water we are just drinking and we have also seen that how which algorithm we are going to uh, take for the prediction of the water quality so this all seven algorithm we are going to use so this particular video we are going to take about the importing the libraries means which libraries we are going to see and which data we are going to take okay so first of all uh, already we have seen about the pandas and the dumpai so pandas uh, basically pandas why we are going to use the pandas pandas is basically used for the uh, uh, whenever you have the csv file you want to read that csv file so with the help of pandas you can just read easily the csv file you, you can also do some pre-processing step you can also remove some null values we can do lots of pre-processing with the help of pandas this was the already we have seen in the pandas videos and the second we are going to see about the numpy import numpy as, as np that is basically a numerical python if it is going to relate it to any numerical data or we, you want to calculate any mean variance or whatever you can use the with the help of numpy we can just able to calculate that one and even for the visualization we are going to use the c bond import c bond as sns this is basically used for, this library is basically useful to visualize your data set how data set is going to use basically you are good, going to do the data analysis and data visualizing and also we can just import the matplotlib import matplotlib.pyplot as plt okay so basically this is the full library is basically used to perform all the data analysis library so if you are going to analyze any data so you can use the pandas numpy basically for the analyzing uh, all the data and then uh, that is loading and calculating all the numerical part and if you want to see then you can go with the c bond and then also you can go with the matplotlib and there is also one type of library we are going to see about that uh, in the further video uh, that is basically the collision uh, uh, that is a px uh, that is plotly so the first what we are going to do so uh, which library we are going to import we will see a uh, which particular topic we are going to focus because if uh, if i'm just going to start with importing so many library it is going to be so much of confusion so what we will do we will just take those library till now we know and whichever the new library we are going to take then that before taking that one we i'm going to explain that we for which particular library we are going to use and then after we will start the all the next step so the, now the main task is basically we are going to import our or uh, that is data frame that is a data set so we can just what we what we can just write here df you can just write whatever you, variable name the prefer we are every time we are going to use as df okay so what if you if you want to read any csv file we can just use a pd dot read underscore csv okay and you can just uh, pass the path where your csv file it is so i'm using a google collab so already i have uploaded this one that is water portability dot csv i can just copy this path copy this path and i can just paste if you are using the particular we can just say about the if you are using an anaconda Jupiter that is the offline mode then what what you can just do you can just path pass the full path of the where you where where you have water portability dot csv file okay so this was all about uh, uh, how to how we are just loading the data set just right here df and we are able to see if you, how the data set has been loaded just write df dot head and df dot tail we already know this thing in the pandas i hope so i expect that one you know this all thing df dot head means particular you are just seeing the first five rows okay so what we have you have the ph we have the hardness we have the solid and this all n number of features you have on the basic of n number of features you are going to say whether that particular water is a safe drinking water or not okay that's what you are writing as portability portability is zero is when when you when your water is not safe that is the drinking purpose is not safe and portability is one whenever you are just drinking a safe drinking water okay this was all about the drinking about uh, what uh, what we can just say about the df.pd.dcsv that is basically you are just loading the file and you are just going to check how many total number of uh, features you have how what which one is the target so this all thing we can just take and even what we can just do uh, basically uh, what uh, if you if you want to know about the columns we can just easily write that is tf.columns you can just write here it will just give you the print the all the columns names okay it is giving the all the columns name you can just see with the help of df.columns now we will do some pre-processing step okay 
so this is this, this video we will see all the pre-processing steps so in, in the next video we will start with the uh, building the model and and visualizing the model okay so now what we can just write here df dot describe we can even write the describe so whenever we are just writing it describe so describe we already seen again in the pandas okay so that is describe i have written the crib okay i have written some small spelling mistake so what we have so basically you have the count you have the mean you have the standard deviation the minimum the 25 percent you are just taking the data what you are getting the mean if you are taking the 50 percent data what you are getting the mean that is a mean and if you are taking a 75 percent of data what you are getting a mean and the maximum value of that particular data okay so this is basically how what is the ph means total you have 2785 means uh, there is some null, null values because in the hardness you are just saying saying that total number of rows or total number of data entries 3276 but in the ph you are getting 2785 so it might be some you have the in the ph you have the uh, null values means the so many data is not entered okay so this is what about the df dot describe and next day what we are going to see if you are going, going to check about the information which which data type you have whether your data type is a flow data type whether your data type is integer or object you can just do with the help of info okay you can just write a df dot info it is going it will give you the information of your data okay so you, we have total data type you can just see that ph is a flow data type hardness is a flow and we can see all we have the flow data type and portability is only the integer data type in why integer data type means you will have at zero and one zero stand for the that particular uh, drinking water is not safe for the drinking and one stand for the particular drinking water is just safe for the drinking so portability equal to zero means we, we can just say that that drinking is not safe and portability is one then we can just say that drinking is really a safe okay so these are the all we can see about the data type even uh, data types even we can just see about null null value count means how many you have the values how many null null values you have okay so we can able to see this one that 2785 you have but in the hardness you are getting 3276 means there are some null values in the ps section so how to check that this null values even we can just check with the help of uh that is if you want to do with the unique also you can just go but if you if you want to know how many total number of null values we can use easily df dot is null okay and then after we can just say dot sum so whenever we are just going to do df dot is null dot sum so we are able to see in the ph you have 400 491 null values in the uh, sulfide sulfate you have 781 null values and in the thrag log madness you have 162 okay so this is basically total number of null values you have in the hardness or the solids and the uh, or either you can just say portability turbidity you don't have any null values then we can just say that but before starting anything uh, that is a building a model or whenever you are going to give a null values as a for the training the data then you will get some error because whenever you are just training a data you have to fill everything that means your data sets will be a really a neat it means you can just say your data sets will be is free from the null values there should be not even a single null values if there is a null values either you can put with the help of mean or either you can just simply remove that particular rules okay that what we have the solution even we will see how we can just deal in this uh, from this particular solution so whatever and how how we can just see even in the if you want to visualize in the you with the help of sns that is basically a c bond we can even use this one sns dot heat map you can just use it that sns dot heat map and just write here df dot is null so is null is basically basically whether you have the null values or not so you can even easily you can just see easily this one so even uh, what i can just write here plt dot uh, figure that is basically i can just say plot the more uh, you can just it depends upon you which particular dimension of figure you are going to plot where, whether your dimension of figure is uh, uh, 10 cross 4 or 10 cross 5 or whatever you have okay i'm just writing a uh, 12 cross 8 from now so it will give me at least this is how we are getting so whatever what i, uh, I want to just visualize you where we have the null values I mean because total number of entry we have 3234 okay and in that in the ps section in which row you are getting then you are getting some white section and if you are getting if you don't have any null values then you are getting as a black section or you can say a blue section okay 
so basically what we have we can just say with the help of this from 0 to 1 0 indicates that you don't have any null values like in the visualizing term and in the one indicates I mean it is totally white so white surface that is basically uh, the background is white then we can say that particular contains the null values so in the ph and the sulfide we are getting so many null values we are able to see this thing that there are so many whites so many rows you have that contains the null values and even you can see in the th also so this all uh, this is about how we can just visualize this thing uh, about the null values and whenever we will do the first data analysis part in the next video so we can start with the data analysis then after we will deal with the how to remove the null values so how to fill that null values and then after we are going to start the all the machine learning algorithm so that's all for this video thank you